Would you like to know how to say goodbye to your food cravings and lose weight simply by improving your gut health? The evidence is mounting. Obesity is linked to our microbiome, the bacteria in our gut. Hello, I'm Dr. James Christosik, aka Dr. Good Carbs, and Northeast Ohio's leading expert in functional medicine since 1986. And in just a minute, I'm going to tell you about the most important food to eat to ensure a healthy gut. Have you ever gone on a weight loss diet with a friend and frustratingly your friend is peeling off the pounds left and right? Yet you struggle to nudge the scale very little or not at all. It doesn't make sense when you're both almost eating the same things, does it? You might be surprised to find out the answer lies in your microbiome, the bacteria living in your gut. Multiple research studies show the microbiome and your gut health can either hinder or encourage weight loss. Today, I want to talk about how researchers are discovering one of the most important things to consider when you're trying to lose weight. That is, who's eating with you? Now, I'm not talking about the family or friends you're eating with. I'm talking about the type of bacteria, good or bad, living in your gut. Scientists have discovered one of the biggest secrets to lose weight is found in a bustling, diverse community of beneficial bacteria in your gut called the microbiome. And the most important thing you can do to have a healthy microbiome is to make sure you have a diverse community of bacteria living in the gut. The more types of bacteria living in your gut, the merrier. Interestingly, even bacteria most patients and doctors consider problematic can be helpful if there is diversity in the gut microbiome. For example, H. pylori bacteria, considered pathogenic in some individuals, has been found to improve weight loss outcomes in individuals with a healthy, diverse microbiome. H. pylori is present in some 50 to 75% of the world population. And it doesn't cause harm or illness in most people. And while nobody wants an overabundance of H. pylori, which can cause ulcers, we shouldn't automatically consider this bacteria bad under all circumstances. Several researchers have found H. pylori can help maintain a healthy weight if the bacteria is not destroyed by antibiotics. In one study, individuals who were prescribed antibiotics to wipe out H. pylori, the patients with digestive problems, their ghrelin levels soared. The hunger hormone ghrelin levels were increased by a whopping 600%. The more ghrelin you have in your bloodstream, the more likely you are to overeat. Scientists believe the overuse of antibiotics cause decreased levels of H. pylori and in turn make weight loss more difficult. These scientists found H. pylori is normally held in check by other beneficial bacteria that live in the gut. As it turns out, whether H. pylori is dangerous or beneficial will always depend on the community of bacteria that resides in each individual. If your gut microbiome is healthy, H. pylori can help to keep you fit, trim, and healthy. On the other hand, if you have dysbiosis, an imbalance of the good and bad bacteria, H. pylori can trigger illness. Right now, research on the connection between the gut microbiome, the community of bacteria living in your gut, and weight loss or weight gain is a hot topic. Researchers have discovered the gut microbiome of obese and non-obese individuals is very different. And the most important food to eat to ensure a healthy population of diverse bacteria that they thrive in your gut is carbohydrates. Be sure to eat plenty of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans, nuts, and seeds. And don't forget, even though it's not a carbohydrate, include cold water fish. If you would like to know more about good carbohydrates that help the microbiome, leave a comment below. And if you like this video and want more like it, then subscribe to my channel. Tomorrow, I'll be giving you more tips on how to support your microbiome to lose weight and keep it off. Until then, I'm Dr. James Christosik, and I'll keep probing the research to find natural cures for your healthcare problems. Ciao for now.